What's up? To, what, why are you stopping other people from getting their money? Wow. Uh, the immorality of it. Uh, the money comes from somewhere. And as a rich person, I pay a disproportionate percentage of the federal taxes that are going to be funding this thing. Now, most of our taxes, federal taxes, are paid by non-wealthy. But the top 1% pay about 40% of all the federal income taxes. And now here in California, 1% of California's 40 million people 1% of taxpayers out of the 40 million population, put it that way, pay almost half of the state income taxes. 1%, in fact, it's one half of 1% of the taxpayers here in California pay 50% of the state's income taxes. And the numbers at the Fed are not all that different. So when someone calls up and says to a wealthy person, what do you care? Who do you think is paying for it? And when I got fact-checked, I told you about the time I got fact-checked. And I said, in 1900, at all three levels, federal, state, local, government took less than 10% from the American people. And a fact-checker couldn't believe that was true. And I gave him the information. He says, yeah, Elder was right. Had no idea how big government has gotten, how intrusive government has gotten. And they want to pass further gun control legislations. They pretty soon want to have a register. They want to give you a mental test for you to get a gun. They want all this stuff. I remember something that Barney Frank once said, the longtime former congressman from Massachusetts. There are plenty of rich people we can get more money from. That's what they think. That's how they see it. You don't think this is going to cause inflation? You don't think taxes are going to go up to pay for this? Government's going to go into further in debt, and ultimately it's got to be repaid? We can just keep doing this and keep doing this because it's politically popular? Blows my mind. The founding fathers intended for government to be very small and non-intrusive. Look at Article 1, Section 8. Maybe someday they'll make a movie out of it. There are a handful of things the federal government's supposed to do, leaving everything else to the states and to the individuals themselves. That was the way this government has been set up. And now if you add a value to mandates... Government at all three levels takes half of what the American people make. Half. And you wonder why growth is slow? And how in the world do you expect to close the so-called income gap, wealth gap, with this kind of sluggish growth? How? It's really, really mind-boggling, the left I remember Andy Stern, the former head of the SEIU union, years ago, he said, well, Europe, as much as we like to make fun of them, they may have higher unemployment, but they have less inequality. So it's perfectly okay for people to have fewer jobs, as long as the ones who have jobs don't make a whole lot more than the next guy who has a job. Stunning. That's how they think. Tax cuts for the rich. You don't believe in systemic racism, you're a bigot, and if you're black, you're an Uncle Tom. A bill that gives black farmers 120% debt relief just because they're black, not because they were discriminated against? Stunning. 